My name is Rodrigo Vargas Hernandez, and in this video, I'll explain the details of our work named Fully Differentiable Optimization Protocols for Non Equilibrium Steady States. Now, the big picture of our work is to illustrate that the optimization of machine learning models and physical systems is exactly the same computational program. In the case of machine learning models, the parameters are tuned using a loss function, which allows us to quantify the accuracy at different values of the parameters. In the case of physical systems, we could guide this search through uh, the use of physical observers like energy or efficiency. Now, for machine learning models, the optimization of these parameters is usually done by gradient descent. However, we could also represent deep learning models as computational programs. So how can we compute the gradient of a computational program? This has been answered through a set of work and the proposal of algorithms like the back propagation. However, for more modern uh, architectures, the need for more robust numerical tools proposed the expansion of this backpropagation algorithm. And the answer is that with the same tools of, uh, of numerical tools that are used to optimize modern deep learning models, we can actually use to optimize physical systems. And this is done by a tool named automatic differentiation, which allows us to compute the derivative of numerical function expressed as computer programs. So yeah. one of the interesting properties on applications of automatic differentiation is the construction of vectorial of, of Jacobians for vectorial functions. To do this, we can use two styles of automatic differentiation. One is forward, which allows to compute the Jacobian of any function column by column, and reverse mode, which allows us to compute the Jacobian of any function row by row. Having said that, it could be clear that the optimization of deep learning models and physical systems is the same as nonlinear uh, programs who has some sort of internal parameters could, could be optimized given some function and gradients. In our case, we decided to use these numerical tools to optimize and study non-equilibrium systems. This case is a quantum system interactive with multiple reservoirs. Now, given the number of degrees of freedoms of this system, we usually work with a reduced representation where we trace out all the reservoirs or VATs uh, degrees of freedom. Now, for non-equilibrium systems, where we're actually interested is in the steady state, which are the long time dynamics, where there's time independent states. And the majority of the observables that we are interested in is, some, is an, um, an operator, the, uh, the expectation value of an operator given the steady state. Now, if we actually were to optimize this type of expectation values, we have the steady state, which allows us to compute, which if we wanted to optimize using gradient descent, we'll have to open up this, uh, this, uh, this operation. And the first bottleneck that we'll be fine is we need to have the steady state respect to the parameters of, of the evolution operator. Now, only for a few cases, we have a closed form of the steady state dependency with the parameters, meaning that we could compute in closed form this gradient. However, for the majority of the physical simulation, the steady state is solved uh, numerically by some sort of a numerical solver. For example, we can do like an ODE solver. So the question is, how do we know how much the solution of this numerical solver is changed with respect to the internal parameters? The second, the second uh, caveat of these approximations is that also the steady state are long time dynamics. So we must take, in, we must take uh, into account that for systems, this time depends my increase. To solve this, we propose an alternative method called implicit differentiation which allows to compute this, the change of the steady state with respect to any parameter of our model without, without dependency on the numerical solver. And the idea is, we know the Louvillian, in the case of open quantum systems, evaluated at the steady state is zero. So we could actually use this into our advantage by identifying that this is a fixed point problem. Now, using automatic differentiation, we could actually compute the gradient of the, the Jacobian of the Louvillian with respect to the parameters. So the questions that we get is the, uh, the Jacobian of the Lubillian with respect to the parameters. Because of the chain rule, we'll get the Jacobian of the Lubillian with respect to the steady state and the Jacobian of the steady state with respect to the parameters. And this is actually the quantity that we're, we're after. So this is no more than a simple linear set of equations that could be solved in closed form. For the energy, the energy transfer, the first thing that we did, we tried to illustrate, is that we could actually do also sensitivity analysis. We could also know how much the steady state depends with any parameters. In this case, we study how much the incoherent light pumping rate affects each individual element of the density matrix in the steady state. And as you can see, depending on the magnitude, also is the effect is not is not the same for any element of the density matrix. Now, 
As I said, the ultimate goal is to do inverse design of optimization. So by defining a loss function or like a physical function, like deficiency, the amount of energy we're gonna move to the reaction center, we could actually just run gradient ascent methods. Yeah. In summary, we used automatic differentiation and the implicit function theorem to compute the gradient of the steady state with respect to the any parameter of our model. Given that our, our procedure is independent of the numerical method used to compute the steady state, meaning we do not need to store in memory as is traditionally done for automatic differentiation, how we solve for the steady state. And this is an end-to-end -end differential algorithm that allows to study non-equilibrium quantum systems. Please. If you have uh, any questions, do not hesitate to contact us, or you can look at the tutorial that is posted in the, in the following GitHub repo.